Hi guys today I will analyze my game against E Giant. I think you know that this is one of the hardest matchup because it is impossible to pass here because he has a tornado and cannon, and we have no decent answers to E Giant which makes this matchup impossible but today I will show you some tricks that will help you increase your chances of success. Here honestly I should have put the spirit here because then the tower would not have been hit by bomber. And this is where the fun starts, you know. Usually when the enemy puts E Giant behind, it's a good idea to put the Valkyrie behind too. But don't even think about putting the XE behind the tower. Cause when the E Giant moves to the bridge there's time to scratch up that lightning and it can hit the Valkyrie the tower and the executioner all at once. So in this match, you gotta make sure you keep the executioner far away from your tower so that lightning won't hit. Also, make sure you defend against the E Giant with spirits and goblins. To be real with you, I messed up by using the log on the cannon. I could have used it on the E Giant instead and saved my tornado. If my opponent was smart, they would have placed the E Giant at the bridge. So, in this matchup, I think it's better to focus more on defense than attack, the reason is that the enemy has two really good counters to the hog. Oh, and just a quick tip, if you know the other player has a tornado card in their hand, don't release the hog from the bridge, instead, start the hog from the very end of the map, this way, they'll have to wait to use the tornado and it'll even out our chances of winning. As you can see, he had to spend a cannon to keep his elixir flowing for a reason, and in the end in this exchange we came out on equal footing. So, he puts E Giant from behind again, now let me show you how to build a solid defense, the principle is simple, just never place the executioner right next to the tower and go for the ice spirit and goblins combo. Dude, check out how much he drops on offense compared to how much I gotta dish out for defense, and even with that huge gap, I'm still getting wiped out and can't even retaliate cuz 2x right now and he has enough time to save up for cannon, that's why everyone agrees this matchup is straight up the worst. By the way, if I had used the rocket, I would've been screwed cuz that was the only thing keeping me on par with this dude's elixir count. There was this one part that I totally screwed up dude, the hog landed a hit, and he threw for some reason on the Vok lightning. To this I think I should have responded with a rocket on the right side or put the Xe on this side, but man, I got so dang confused at that moment and just didn't do anything. So, I was like, okay, time to be a bit of a wimp here, I figured he was gonna come at me, so I was just getting ready to defend myself. I think you've figured out by now that it's best not to put the executioner right by the tower, and that tornado over there could come in handy since that E giant was dropped from the bridge. Dude, I think he messed up by using that tornado to pull the XE away, it was the perfect chance to launch an attack, and I was able to dish out some serious damage, thanks for that. Man, I'm still kicking myself for not launching a rocket at his tower when I had the chance, the dude wasted his cannon, so he won't be able to counterattack, and his phoenix was almost toast anyway, but for some reason it didn't even cross my mind at the time. Once again, I'm gearing up for this guy's attack, but I can't help but think I screwed up by playing that hog where I did, if I had dropped it from the bridge, he would've had to use up his elixir on defense instead of attacking me. I get it now, the reason I couldn't wreck him earlier is cause I need to be dropped the hog at the bridge, dude's got no cannon or tornado at the moment. And here, frankly, I start to panic from so many troops and I just cannot defend it and in the end I lose because of my own stupidity. 